And as the attack on villages and farmers increase in Benue State, the All Progressive Congress, the APC in Benue State, has accused the governor, Samuel Autumn led government, of being responsible for the killing of innocent Benue citizens by herdsmen militia across the state. Chairman of the party, Austin Agada, made the allegation while condemning the renewed killings in the state at press conference in Makurdi. A correspondent, Francis Ter, reports the party chairman in the state alongside party leaders and critical stakeholders alleged that these livestock guards acting on the instruction of the governor have engaged in rustling cows belonging to the Fulani herders, thereby frustrating them, which led to a reprisal attack on innocent Benue citizens. The increased waves of killing of innocent citizens of Benue State, especially the, especially the people of the Iharib Nation or extraction, and the and appeal to both Governor Samuel Otom and the Fulani militias to trade the path of peace and refrain from all activities that have led to the escalation of these cars and breaches of the affirmation local government areas. This appeal has become necessary in the light of the renewed rustling of cows by the Governor or Tom Livestock Guards and the Community Volunteer Guard under the disguise of enforcing the open grazing prohibition law. On the other hand, and the Fulani militias counter-attack against our innocent people who have no link with neither rustling of the cows or so-called the enforcement of the law. It must be emphasized that the implementation of the open grazing prohibition law which targets cows instead of the Fulanis who are shepherd the cows leaves much to be desired. It is therefore our contention that the governor or Tom, that governor or Tom should immediately review the mode of... Under any circumstance that cows are to be arrested, then governor Tom's livestock guards should provide a war of defense for the innocent, helpless villagers who are attacked shortly after the arrest of Flanny uh, cows. That is our position. Reacting to the allegations, Governor Samuel Autumn said the enactment of open grazing prohibition law was a decision of the people of the state and was unaware why the APC will accuse him of the herdsmen killings. The traditional council, the stakeholders are here. They gently told me, I didn't sit on my own and enacted any law. And it went through due process to the state executive council, to the House of Assembly, and uh, the House of Assembly went and did public hearings in four designated places instead of three. And we came out with a law, I signed, and we had to enforce it. Everything we are doing, I'm a man that believes in the rule of law. I'm not a lawless person. Same people who were on the air making press conferences, who have run away from their people, they cannot even go to their villages. And we've been working hard here. The security agencies have been working themselves. Security agencies, since 2017, over 130 security personnel, soldiers, uh, police, civil defense, DSS, have been killed in Benway State in the course of keeping peace for us. And these people have run away. They are drinking cold water and beer in uh, Makudi. They don't even go to their villages. And you go and make reckless statements. That we inside people. In a swift reaction, the special advisor to Governor Media, Mr. Sabia Kasi, said the open grazing prohibition and ranches establishment law and the livestock guards, which the APC and their herder allies desperately want to see scrapped, have come to stay. In Benue State is concerned, the lives of cows are more valuable than human lives. This is why in the said press conference yesterday, their emphasis was on capital rusting as they frantically tried to justify why the Benno State Open Grazing Prohibition and Ranches Establishment Law should be reviewed 
to crack easy passage and access to Fulani headers with their animals to lands across the state. The APC's line of reasoning resonates with the thinking of Fulani pastoralists such as Lieti Allah, who insist that until the law is repealed, they will not stop sponsoring attacks on the state. The APC in Benue State has again proven that it has no value for human lives. And as long as, they are, as long as they get power, Benue can go up in flames. A political party that turns to accuse the people of the state it hopes to govern lacks humanity and the conscience to lead.